ओके चैप्टर टेन एन सी आर टी लाइट रिफ्लेक्शन एंड रिफ्रैक्शन ऑफ लाइट सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट रिफ्लेक्शन वॉट इज द रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट ओके सो फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट दैट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट ओके वॉट द फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट सेज इट सेज दैट द एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस इज इक्वल टू द एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस इज इक्वल टू द एंगल ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन ओके द एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस इज इक्वल टू एंगल ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन सो लेट्स ड्रॉ अ प्लेन एंड लेट्स एज्यूम दैट वी आर वी हैव बीन गिवन अ मिरर ओके एंड देर इज अ सिल्वर कोटिंग जस्ट बेनेट द मिरर एंड नाउ यस दिस इज अ सिल्वर कोटिंग बेनेट द मिरर एंड नाउ दिस इज अ इंसिडेंस रे ए इंसिडेंस रे इज फॉलोइंग ऑन टू दिस मिरर नाउ I am only showing the one ray. There is infinite number of rays that will come from a source. Okay, dealing with one ray is easier. So this is a ray which is incidence on the mirror. Now the angle of this incidence ray is measured with respect to normal to the mirror. So this is normal to the mirror. Okay, normal means perpendicular to the mirror. Okay, so this normal is making 90 degree with respect to mirror, uh, and this. incidence ray this incidence ray is making an angle is making an angle theta okay is making an angle theta with respect to normal and then this incidence ray will be reflected why this will be reflected because there is a silver coating beneath the or to the opposite side of mirror so the incidence ray will be reflected now it will be reflected in such a way that it will be reflected in such a way that that this angle which is called as a angle of reflection so how we measure the angle of reflection we measure the angle of reflection so we measure the angle of reflection with respect to what we measure the angle of reflection with respect to normal okay so beta is the angle of reflection and always remember that we measure the angle of reflection with respect Back to normal, so it is the angle between reflected ray and the normal ray. Because mainly students get get confused that we measure the angle of reflection with respect to mirror. So it will not be with respect to mirror. The angle of reflection will be with respect to normal. Okay, you can see that this is the angle of reflection beta. Okay. Now according to first law of reflection of light. the angle of incidence must be equal to angle of reflection that is angle of that is a theta angle must be equal to beta so let's state it using the formula that is angle theta must be equal to angle beta this is the first law of reflection what is the second law of reflection so second law of reflection says that the angle of incidence okay or we can say the ray of incidence and the ray of reflection and the normal to the plane it is not the angle it is a it is the incidence incident ray so the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal to the plane all will lie in the same plane meaning that is the angle the incident ray and the normal to the mirror okay and the reflected ray all and the normal this is the normal to the mirror so all these three rays there is a incident ray reflected ray and the normal to the actually um, two rays and the normal to the mirror lie in the same plane okay they are lying in the same plane so once again second law of reflection says that the incident ray reflected ray and the normal lie in the same plane this is a orange plane okay you got it no we are dealing with the concave mirror concave mirror is called converging mirror okay concave mirror is called the converging mirror this is a concave mirror okay this side this side is a concave mirror and this side is yes this side is having silver coating okay so concave mirror is called converging mirror which converges the parallel rays of light coming from infinity to the focus so what this converging mirror will do that the ray that is coming from infinity the yes this is a converging mirror 
so what this converging mirror will do this is the pole this is the axis so what this converging mirror will do this is the focus so the converging mirror it will do what according to the statement the ray that will come from this object that is placed at the infinity a object is placed at the infinity so so which object a and b is the object so a ray will come from a and b a parallel ray this is the parallel ray a parallel ray is coming from this object so according to the law of law of converging mirror what the converging mirror will do converging mirror will converge this ray which is coming from infinity to the focus so that has been stated converging mirror is called converging mirror because it converges the parallel rays what is the parallel rays parallel rays which always come from the object that is placed at the infinity here a b object is placed at the infinity so what this converging mirror will do it will converge the ray that is coming from infinity to the focus okay you can see that it is converging the ray that is coming from infinity to the focus so a ray that is coming from infinity will be converging to focus okay and this is a normal to the mirror this is normal to the mirror and normal to the mirror is just like a ball okay uh, the it will be thrown to the point and it will just reflect as it is so if you are throwing a ray and after reflection if it doesn't go any deviation and it just retraces the path back to the same point then we say that it is passing through the center of curvature so any ray passing through the center of curvature is normal to the converging mirror okay. and here also the law of reflection will be followed now since since this a ray that is passing through center of curvature is normal so what we can say we can say that the angle of incidence must be equal to angle of reflection and these two angles that is the angle of incidence and angle of reflection will be measured with respect to normal to the mirror what is normal to the mirror any ray that is passing through center of curvature is normal to the mirror thus we are measuring angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection okay so law of reflection will also follow here in in concave mirror okay so law of reflection will be followed everywhere but along with law of reflection another law that holds for converging mirror is that any ray that is coming from infinity will converge to the focus okay another ray will come again it is coming from infinity so it will converge to focus okay it will converge to focus again another ray is coming from infinity so it will converge to focus so it is true for each and every ray because this is a law so it is universal and it will be true for each and every ray again we are considering a converging mirror it is not a lens it is a mirror okay this is the pole this is the axis which is passing through the pole this is what this is a ray that is passing through the normal normal means it is passing through the center of curvature this is the focus again this is a object that is placed at the infinity ab is the object that is placed at the infinity again the ray is coming from infinity it will converge to the focus okay now as we mentioned that the angle of incidence must be equal to angle of reflection so incident ray is making an angle of incidence with respect to a ray or a line that is passing through center of curvature another ray that is coming parallel again it will converge to focus again parallel rays converging to focus parallel rays converging to focus okay converging mirror okay we are not studying about lens we are studying about mirror and you can see that this dashed line is representing the silver coating same law will hold here any ray that is coming parallel will be okay here we are seeing that the ray that is passing through the center of curvature will go and retrace back the ray that is passing through center of curvature will go and retrace back it will go like this and retrace back 
hence we say that any ray that is passing through center of curvature is normal to the mirror is normal to the converging mirror center of curvature so what is what is the identity of center of curvature so so any ray that is passing through center of curvature will retrace back to the center of curvature because any ray that is falling that is passing through center of curvature is falling normal to the converging mirror again there is a pole given this is a silver coating this is the axis this is a focus this is the center of curvature now we are considering a convex mirror that previously we had been dealing with the concave mirror now convex mirrors convex mirror is also called as a diverging mirror because any ray that is coming from parallel will diverge okay but it will assume that it is diverging from focus thus since it is being assumed that it is diverging from focus we say that it is a it forms a virtual virtual image okay so convex mirror not a lens convex mirror is called diverging mirror why because it diverges the parallel rays of light coming from infinity to focus so again an object is given at infinity let's call this as an object a and b now a ray that is coming from infinity with parallel rays what will happen it will diverge okay this will diverge but this will assume but this ray if extrapolated it will be assumed that it is being diverged or it is coming from focus so we what we do we extrapolate from here to the focus so you will see that if you extrapolate the line it will you will assume that this line is coming from focus and thus we say that it forms a virtual image at the focus since the ray is not converging anywhere it is diverging but it seems that it is coming from focus thus it forms a virtual image okay now any we are drawing a line through the center of curvature now this line will be normal to the diverging or convex mirror okay now now the incident ray will be measured with respect to this normal also the reflected ray will be measured with respect to this normal now what we will say we will say that the angle of incidence must be equal to angle of reflection okay angle of incidence must be equal to angle of reflection these two angles are being measured with respect to normal what is normal normal is a ray that is passing through center of curvature now again a parallel ray will come and it, again it will diverge but it will we will assume if we extrapolate it then it will be assumed that it is coming from focus okay. again a parallel rays will come again it will be diverged again but it will be assumed that it is coming from focus okay so we have seen what is a diverging mirror so what we assume we assumed or we come to the conclusion that the convex mirror is a diverging mirror a no actual image is formed and all the rays are uh, if all the rays are being extrapolated then it is being perceived that they are coming from focus or they are converging to the focus but in reality they are not converging to the focus if we extrapolate the line then it will be assumed that it is it, it is coming from focus thus we say that it forms a virtual image at the focus not a real image thus we can say that the image formed by this convex mirror is virtual whereas the image formed by concave mirror is real <coughs> same instance repetition okay okay now representation of images formed by spherical mirror using ray diagram so any ray that is coming parallel will converge to the focus in converging mirror <coughs> whereas in diverging mirror the ray that is parallel will be diverged and if it will be extrapolated it will be 
it will be perceived that it is coming from focus okay <coughs> so this is a converging mirror okay and this is the diverging mirror we have discussed it right now a ray parallel to the principal axis after reflection will pass through the principal axis in case of concave mirror or appear to diverge from the principal focus in case of the convex mirror okay. a ray passing through the principal focus of a concave mirror or a ray which is directed towards the principal focus of a convex mirror after reflection will emerge parallel to the principal axis okay so we have discussed all this this is my diverging mirror and here we also see that the law of reflection of light is being followed that the angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection i think that we have discussed all these conditions converging lens as well as sorry converging mirror as well as diverging mirror okay join my class my contact number is given and the monthly fees is only rupees 1000 so please like and